Hello, I am Ahmad and in this video I'm going to continue what we started in the last two videos. First, we went through the hand calculation of a simple beam uh, under distributed load uh, with the boundary condition free to rotate about uh, two axes and completely fixed at both ends about longitudinal axis. Then we went through the same beam modeling with ANSYS and now here I'm going to model with RFM from the Lua. I prepared this uh, for calculation and the first thing select the material you can select from the library 235 for example and then you can go through JR. Two hundred ten gigapascal for modulus of elasticity, the same as we used for ANSYS calculation. The next cross section, what we had in our calculation, HEA two hundred European standard profile. The material S two thirty five. And it was four meters. So here I can simply select the beam, and from there the section is already taken to be the only section that we have. And here four meters. So if you solve this for buckling analyzers, it might not be helpful as far as it's a beam. For that, you need to change the beam to surface select the item members and generate surface from member if you are working in 2d it might not work as far as it's not 2d it should be 3d your cross section is completely vanished and you have only the um, plates here we can see that this is 10 millimeter and this is 6.5 The next is applying the support again like what we did for the uh, ANSYS model here also we need to define that these edges are completely with a rigid behavior for that you can come to the members and instead of beam select rigid and just simply connect these lines together And selecting these control and copy to this part. Then the support so the support about Z is free, about Y is free, and about X is completely fixed, as well as trans relational in three dimensions. This point and this point. The next is applying the load. So here you can make a new load case and try buckling. Here you can see that the structural stability is already turned off. To activate that, you need to come to the edit model and go to add on here, activate a structural stability. Again, coming back to this point, this time we can select. You can change the method of the calculation for a stability analyzers here. By default, it is selected to be four lowest eigen values so we can keep it the next is applying the load we started with the top edge here i select that line and then new line load in zeta direction we went through minus 100 kilonewt per meter the next is 
setting the mesh for that here by default it's always 500 millimeter we used 20 millimeter for our model in the other program and then you can just calculate the model first the mesh is made and then a static analyzes and after that a stability in this navigator panel you can change the result to what you are looking for we are looking for a stability analyzes and here you can see the value which is 1.705 from here also you can see critical load factor which is 10705 and we can go through our MATCAD calculation I can select these put them here and I change this to RFM this also RFM this one also RFM the value is 1.705 so we can see that pretty the same value as calculated in ANSYS. Let's change the position of the load. We can just delete and apply the load to the other line. This action delete, uh, deletes the mesh. So we want to continue. The value is 20 exactly the same so here it is 59 and we can change the position to the bottom line this one minus 100 and solve it so the value is 241, but if we look at the deformation, it is completely local. If you remember also in the uh, ANSYS, we had the same uh, buckling shape. If we go to the second one, it's still local. The main reason is that uh, as far as we assign the load in the bottom of the cross section, then it is helping the cross section not to buckle uh sooner than when the, the load is applied on the top for example as a result perhaps the buckling happens as we can see here uh, locally to the compressive flange if we go to the next one here we can see that now it is going to be completely global buckling which is 2.43 and if we come back to here, the value is exactly the same as ANSYS model. So the results are pretty the same. If the modeling is the same, it doesn't matter what kind of uh, program or software we are using. If uh, we know what we are doing with the software, then the results should be the same if the software is capable of doing such. For example, here, a simple buckling analysis can be done with either ANSYS or with RFM. And the results are identical, almost, as we noticed. That is the end of this video. We went through the RFM model of the same question that we started with hand calculation. A simple beam under distributed load in three positions, top, middle, and also in the bottom of the beam. We calculated the buckling loads and we compared our hand calculation with ANSYS model and finally with ARFA model. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.